go now. Kashif in Huddersfield. Hi, Kashif. Hello, good morning, John. Good morning. How are you? Good, fine, thank you. What do you want to say? I um, just wanted to say, um, you know, um, in regards to, uh, to removing the veil and removing the turban, you know, um, what, uh, I wanted to ask, why, did it, why does people want um, everybody to look the same? I mean, you know, variety is a spice no, of life. No, no, I don't want everybody to look the same. Yeah. I mean, I think Rastas look fantastic with yeah. their locks. Yeah. I've uh, got no problem with the hijab. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no problem with Sikhs wearing, wearing a turban. I've got, um, although, obviously, there's a problem with this particular policeman. And I've got nothing wrong with Jewish people wearing a school cap if they wish to on That's a it, Saturday. However, yeah, however hold on, I haven't finished. Yeah. I haven't finished. I've got a lot of objection to the veil. I believe there's no place for the veil or the full burqa in 21st century tolerant liberal and I believe so I haven't finished. No, I haven't finished. Let me. Can, can I finish? Then you can have a go at me. Yeah. I'm not having a go at you. Nothing to do with you about being human. Stop. Stop parading your victimhood. You don't. I'm have, not a victim. Well, what, I'm, why? I'm a, I'm why I'm are I'm you trying to sound like one? No, Just I'm, why I'm, don't you I'm listen? Not capabilities to enlighten people. W would you like to have a debate? Because I, I think you come, you come as you're coming over as if you're a victim, right? Let me just tell no, you something. Oh, sorry, well, let I'm me not, finish. I don't, I well, don't mean to come back. Well, to why? Like, to have, like a victim, I'm, I'm coming as uh, uh, somebody who's just trying right. to put the veil. A, a paradigm in the veil you. has no place in 21st century Britain. If I went to Saudi Arabia, my wife and my daughters would dress modestly. My Can wife, my wife that? wouldn't drive a car, and I would uh, thank God so, for that. However, so however, so I'm going to come back to you in a moment. Okay, sorry. The veil has no place. I believe it's not in the Quran. It's a subsect. Of the religion that says they should wear it, and I believe the veil and the full burqa leads to a situation where women are not treated equally. And I believe in equality, equality of opportunity. And I believe politicians in this country should have the backbone to stand up and say, "You don't wear the full veil in this country." Over to you. Okay, then, um, my friend, if you could just uh, um, just bear with me for two minutes, like I, you know, I'm sorry that I tried to interrupt you. I didn't. I wasn't doing that intentionally, right? What it was, um, just imagine if the the mortgage system was scrapped, right? And the women didn't have to go out to work and uh, feel the humiliation, right? Because um, we believe that the honor of a man is his woman. Now, the, the woman is the man's garment. Now, if she removes her veil, the man is walking around half naked. That's the belief of a Muslim now. Due to so the, the, woman is th the woman is the second class citizen. She's the shadow of, of, of the man and she belongs to the man not, like a piece of not clothing. At all, not at all, well, have I misinterpreted she's teacher, it? She's a teacher of the nation because, we, you know, she teaches a child and the child becomes a man <laughs> and then the man becomes a teacher, you know, so at the end of the day... Everyone's my friend, a teacher. It, right, not, what is, we all have capabilities to be a teacher but because oh we are God. stuck in this system of death... Do you really believe this? Well, you know what... Do you we're seriously so, so, believe so what you're coming out with? with. If we're so stuck in political correctness, we don't even get time to Now, think. listen a minute. I believe that a woman's place is in the home while the child is up to the age of five. I yeah, actually believe yeah, the most important job a woman can do yeah, is be, be the mother absolutely. and the nurturer. The However, the I do not believe that my wife is like a piece of clothing which I own. No, I no, do I'm not believe... No, hang on. Yes, you did. Don't you said... You said... You said... Metaphorically, you said, not literally. A, yes, but that's the same thing. You're basically saying the woman is only an extension of the man. No, I'm sorry. It, that's... No, that's no, Stone no, not age so, thinking. Not so. It's because flirting hurts the man's heart. Flirt? And, uh, who flirts? What, right, by, okay, by what's seeing... So what's, so good, what's so good about unveiled women then, please? Hold on a minute. So, by being unveiled, a yeah. woman's a flirt? No, I'm not saying she is a flirt. Well, what are you saying? But I'm just saying that, that she's attracting, is... attracting man's attention more, so that he may make the first move, and then she has to kind of defend herself, trying to keep, <laughs> keep, keep men at bay. Because at the, at the end of the day, excuse me, were you born in this country? I was born. I'll tell you the truth, my friend. Right, I was born in Pakistan when, and oh. I came over here How when I was three months old. How old are you now? I'm 28 years old. You're 28, and you really believe this rubbish that you're coming out with? But then it's I'm not, not actually rubbish. having it's a go rubbish. at your major religion. But you, Listen, but you, but you call it, it rubbish. rubbish. That means that you'll never understand us, well, and we'll never no. accept your laws. You, pardon? Right. You'll never you accept our laws. What yeah. do you mean by that? My because, laws. Because They're your laws. You're, you're a British citizen. Are you a British citizen? Well, look, my friend. Look, Hold on, my... let me just ask you a question. Are you a British citizen? I was a British citizen until the point when they started to, t uh, to keep people in prison without charge. So I was you... British until so then. So you're not British now? No, I'm not British now because I don't agree with the British law system. Right? I, I wasn't Bri I, I was British until uh, September 11th happened. So and when they blamed it on the What Muslims. passport do you travel on? Um, I travel in the, uh, with the British passport. Well, why haven't you handed it back? You just told me you're not British citizen. But you know what it is, my friend? I've lost my British passport for the last four years and I've been stuck here. I couldn't really go anywhere. Do you want to go? N well, I would like to take everybody with me. 
Everybody who? Your family? Because well, we came here in the 60s to help your country, right? Mm. To, 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 yeah, to, that's not in Coventry. You know I mean? you know without I mean? Muslim, hang on here, a minute, right? without Muslim Pakistani yeah, yeah, doctors course, in Coventry, course. our you know, health my, system my would have collapsed. You're himself. absolutely right. My dad came out of all the family, right? He left all, everyone and he came to England to work, right? He became a bus driver. My mum, she qualified as a nurse in Pakistan. She left all her friends and family, came over here to become a nurse in London, right? Now, 30 years on, right, 30, 40, 30 years, 40 years, 35 years on, right, 40 years on, they've worked here, they've, they've spent all their life here, they've invested all the time here. Now, the, you know, the children have been looked upon as uh, somebody who might harm them. Who you buy? know what I mean? But you've, you've, who don't buy? forget that. You've, who taught, buy? you've taught us. Who in buy? Your schools, in your schools, you've taught us how to be good people, right? And at home, our parents have taught us how to be good spiritually. Now we, the second generation, uh, the person who comes. What do you in do for a living, Kashif? Before you just yeah. stop, stop preaching for a minute. What yeah. do you do for a living? Um, what I do for a living, right, mate, is uh, I used to um, make pounds, right. But now I'm making virtue. So what do you do then? How do you make virtue? What do you do for a living? Um, by by expressing my voice, so that. So you're an are you an imam? Or are you an imam or what? What are you? I'm I'm a justice seeker. All right. So who pays for you to be a justice seeker? God does. No, our benefit system does, does it? No, not at all. Because I've got, I'm self-employed. Are you living on benefits? Not at all. I'm self-employed. So, self so, self so what do you do? I, I, I don't believe in, I don't believe in um, charity. So, I, I, so I, I, you I live off charity. charity. How do you, how do you get paid then? I, I, I like giving charity. I don't like taking how do you charity. Put food, I'm how do you put food into your children's mouth? Because I'm a, I'm a courier and um, I have a business in courier. And oh, remodel. so you've still got a business. So you still make pounds. Well, you know, that's what I mean. I still make pounds, but the thing is now. Enough.